Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's time for us all to get a little education. Well, that's right. I'm actually going to let Michael Eckford do my makeup, which is absolutely amazing. But it's, it's the only closest thing to hugging we've done in I years. I trust Karen Shoji. You've met her on the show before from Mika Makeup, also joined by one of the instructors, Elizabeth Bryan, and the lovely Leanne is going to be our model today because we're going to be learning about brushes. I never knew there were so many. Karen. We brought every style of brush how for you guys today. How important are brushes? Are they really key? For makeup? Yeah. Very key um, for blending and for proper placement where you're going to put the makeup. Um, you can't just use your fingers for everything. So okay, let's start with, we've got okay. different categories of brushes here. Yeah. These ones here are the synthetic brushes. That's are right. these are these the good kind? Are they good for certain things? Why would you use synthetic brushes? Um, synthetic's actually made of nylon. It's really good for liquid products. So okay. if you're using foundation, tinted moisturizer, cheek stains, Anything like that that's liquid, you're going to use a synthetic okay. brush. Okay, Elizabeth, you're going to be using a synthetic brush to this do is what? A synthetic brush, applying concealer. They're great okay. for applying concealer and foundation. Okay. So show us how. We've got some concealer. Okay, I'm just softening I'm so the concealer nervous. on my hand. <laughs> Are you going to apply concealer to Fiona? No, not concealer. <laughs> uh, I'm only allowed to do certain and things. And chin down a little bit. So you can see she was just warming it up on her hand, so she put a little bit on the back of her hand and then worked it onto the brush, just heated it up a little bit so it goes on nice and smooth. Now, do you usually put the under eye concealer when it's that consistency on before or after the foundation, before or after powder, in which order does it matter? Everybody does it differently. I always do the eyes first and then clean up the fall down shadow that falls underneath the eye. So and you don't then look like a raccoon. In. Exactly, <laughs> and then go in and do concealer and then foundation. Very nice. Now. Uh, after the synthetics, mm -hmm. we have the next category of brushes. Now, these, <laughs> these are, they're not made out of sheep, they're made out of goat. No, sheep is bad. <laughs> oh, right. Mah. Sorry. I, I misheard you. <laughs> I grew it up in the country. Now, what do you use goat brushes for? Um, goat brushes are nice and fluffy, so they're really good for powder products. So, anything like pressed powder, yeah, blush. Um, contour powder, which what we're going to use it okay, for. Okay, I'm contouring Forbes. Yeah, Mike's going to contour me, but first we want to know how to do it properly. Now, Elizabeth has one of the goat uh, brushes Excuse here. me, Karen. I'll step aside. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth. I need room to work. How okay. do we do the contour properly? You dip your tip into okay. the dark contour color, okay. swirl it around gently, Okay. tap off the excess. Insert innuendo here. Yes. <laughs> and then what? So I'm just putting it, contour. I'm just using it. the tip. Yes, it's just the tip. Okay. Watch first. Tip. Oh, okay. I want to do it at the same time. And then you hold it at a 90 degree angle to the cheekbone. Okay. Ah. And slide it down. Okay. So the concentration of darkness is going to fall into that hollow underneath the okay. cheek. I'm going to have going a to tough time upwards. finding Fiona's cheekbone. She uh, can always suck in. They're not. <laughs> I was kidding. If you can't find the cheekbone on Forbes, we're all in trouble. Just like that? Yes? Am I close? My this is the closest thing we've ever had to romance, and it's giving me I the know. creeps. I know. <laughs> Uh, do you feel this as well? <laughs> okay. Uh, I should probably do both sides, huh? Funny, Mike. Yeah. You, you, you smell like a goat. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? Uh, wait, down okay, like that. Okay, now after okay. the goat brushes, we've got the squirrel brushes. Now these Shh, look most moving. like um, eyeshadow brushes, is that right? Squirrel brushes are great for eyeshadow and blending. How did you do? Beautiful. I did pretty well. Not yeah, bad. Nice. Not bad. I think yeah. you're a natural makeup artist. Thank you. I really do. <laughs> okay, <I'm> next. <laughs> Bring it on. So, so what do we got here? Squirrel brushes are black hair. They're really soft. Great for smoky eye. Any dark colors that you're afraid to put on your eye that you're scared of blending, you're going to have a nice soft application because the hairs are really long and soft. Now I'm big on the smoky eye. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, what is the best brush to use for the dark? colors. You want to use a brush that's shaped like this. Okay. Okay. And then what? So it fits right into the crease of the eye. Um, so Elizabeth is going to put a little bit of brown through the crease on Leanne. Okay. Yeah, do you want me to do this same for No. I have that brush. I No. He I don't like it when other people touch my eyes. Can Here, I do, do you it try? to myself? Here. There you go. So you go in there. Is this? So you're basically you letting the brush go right into the socket of the eye. Put a little pressure on the brush and go back and forth. Want to try that? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. And okay, then just, push in a little bit. Yeah, there jam you it go. right in there, Pete. There you go. A little harder. A little harder. How am I doing? Perfect. You want to actually do it until you can see stars on the inside? <laughs> so it's actually quite relaxing. <laughs> it is there really relaxing, actually, because the yeah, squirrel hair is I got to so even out. So would you use squirrel blush brushes for anything else or just the eyes? Um, you can use them for powder blushes as well. Anything you want to blend really softly. Um, and last but not least, yeah. we have sable. 
So sable is used for what? Sable is a little bit more of a firm hair and it tapers to the point on each hair. So you're going to get it um, really good for detail. Right. Anything that you want a really specific shape or line. So we're actually going to use the angle brush. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to use the angle brush for? This one we're going to use for filling in the eyebrows. You can also line the eye with it. Okay. It's pretty versatile. You can use any of your eyeshadows um, as liner when you have this brush. Uh, we should probably talk about your courses as well, because uh, yes. you have a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, explain what you do and okay. how people can get some lessons. Basically, we teach um, beginners who just want to learn on themselves, or we actually teach makeup artists. We're having an intensive summer program this year. So it'll be one month long and four weeks every day. Wow. Yeah. So, so you'll learn it all. Yeah, some casual courses and some more intense. I'm just fascinated nice. watching the eyebrow stuff because it makes such a difference when you fill in the eyebrows and do it properly. And mm -hmm. it's much more natural than a pencil. Yeah. Using an angle brush it's not and a as powder. Harsh. And last but not least, uh, really quickly, oh. how important it is, is it to keep your brushes clean? Very important. Most people actually don't wash their brushes. Which is really scary. Yeah. yeah. But we have um, the spray, which you can just spray right onto your brush and clean off in a tissue yeah. for quick changes. Um, so if you're a makeup artist and you need to go through yeah. a few people. And then we have the Da Vinci brush soap. And that one goes with these brushes. And basically, it's just going to lather up. Um, and then you just rinse it and lay it flat to dry. Excellent stuff. Thanks nice. so much, you guys. If yeah, you want to find out Thank more, you. you can go to the Mika Makeup website to find out about all the classes and everything that they offer. Thanks again. Thank you. Mike, you did a good Thank job. Yay. Well done. I just like pulling things up. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> We're going to take a break and <laughs> return.